Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to go back to the stock ROM from any custom ROM on the Nothing Phone 2. The steps are applicable across all the custom ROM running any Android version and any Nothing OS version as well. With that said, the process will wipe off all the data from your phone. So make sure to take a backup and then only move ahead with the next step. For the sake of reference, I'm using a paranoid Android custom ROM which is running the latest Android 15 build but as of now the steps are applicable as I have told you before across all the ROMs so keeping that in mind let's get started first and foremost you will have to enable USB debugging and on your phone as well for that you will have to enable developer option so go to about phone and tap on build number 7 times on your custom ROM then go to system and you should now see developer option go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging tap on ok you might get one more prompt in that case again tap on allow and with this debugging is now enabled so let's verify the same so for that you will have to download the android sdk platform tools from my guide i will link it in my guide and extract them onto your pc then type in cmd in its address bar and hit enter or you may also simply open the cmd from here and then copy the path of the platform tools from here and type in cd which is chain directory space path and hit enter and with this we are inside the platform tools directory now type in adb devices and verify that you are getting an id if you are not getting any id then unplug and replug your phone from the pc disable and re-enable usb debugging tap on revoke usb debugging use the official usb cable that came with your phone and use the usb 2.0 port on your pc so carry out this usb fixes and verify that you are getting an id once you are getting this id your next course of action is to get hold of the stock firmware for your phone so we have already made a guide on the same let me show you my guide and from here you will have to download the firmware always download the full ROM full firmware and not the incremental one so regarding the full release these are the full release these three build this is the latest one and inside the latest firmware you will get the following five files you will have to download all the five files these are the three logical files and a boot and a firmware so make sure to download all the five files I will update my guide as and when there is a new build so let's see that so let me show you these are the five files which we have got so you have to extract this file using 7-zip so install the 7-zip software onto your pc from its official website then select all these five file right click on it and choose show more option then go to 7-zip and extract to forward slash it will now extract the files inside the firmware folder and the boot and these following three logical files as well and you will get a single logical file and the files inside the boot and firmware once you have got all the files transfer all the files inside a single folder for the ease of convenience it's highly recommended you do so so we have transferred all the file inside this folder once that is done you will now have to download the pong fastboot flasher script okay before that one more thing in most cases you will get the firmware in 7zip format but in rare cases the firmware might also be in a payload bin file so if it's in a bin format then you will have to use the fastboot enhance tool to extract the firmware we have made a separate guide on the same you could refer to my guide and get the job done so let me show you how just download the fastboot enhance tool from my guide and extract them onto your pc then transfer the payload bin file inside fastboot enhance folder now launch the fastboot enhance tool go to payload dumper click on browse and choose the bin file click on open then go to partition select ctrl a to choose all the files check mark allow incremental extract image choose a location and click ok this will extract all the files inside the firmware and you will get all the files so you may either do so via fastboot enhance in case it's in a bin format or use a 7-zip if it's in a 7z format mostly it will be in a 7-zip format itself so moving on once you have done the extraction you will now have to get hold of the pong fastboot flasher tool so go to this github page click on code download zip and this will give you the required files so extract the zip file and after that let me show you extract the file and you will get around a couple of files inside that file let me show you once again what i'm talking about so let's download the zip file and open it and you will get the following files go to the windows folder copy the flash all bad file and then transfer the file inside the same folder where you have all the other partition firmware files so in my case i've done the extraction here let me show you just a minute these are all the firmware files it has all the files on the firmware the boot 
and the logical directory so transfer the flash all bad file over here once that is done you will now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so for that type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into fast boot mode which should take just a few seconds so let's just wait for that to happen and then you have to type in fast boot devices and verify that you're getting an id if you're not getting any id then you'll have to install fast boot drivers on your pc we have made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to a guide and get the job done once you have installed the drivers right click on the windows icon and choose device manager then expand the android phone section and verify that your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface so this as well as the serial id next to fast boot signify that your pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead so let's now get started with the flashing process for that simply launch the flash all dot batch file and it will first ask for the formatting of data this is extremely important that you type in why a data wipe is a must and during the flashing process it will, will ask a couple of other questions as well to flashing boot partition the flash image across both the slots you will have to type in why because we want the stock firmware across both the slots and not only on slot a otherwise it might lead to a conflict because on slot b you might still be having some files of the custom rom therefore it's highly recommended that you say yes and then both the slot a and b will have these files from the latest firmware you may also verify the flashing process by simply opening the file in a advanced notepad plus plus file so open it here and as you could see first off it will extract the platform tools and after that it will flash the boot partition files the firmware partition and the logical partition first it will change the slot to slot a which then it will ask for the format data and it will then flash the boot partition and it will ask you if you want to flash across both the slots so type in y and then the flashing will start and then it will flash the vb meta and ask you if you want to disable android verified boot so type in y we want to disable the android verified boot because it will help us in flashing the custom binary and modules and once that is done your phone will now automatically reboot to fast boot d mode and flash the rest of the files so after that as you could see the flashing will now proceed over it is now flashing the logical partitions in the fast boot d mode so it will reboot to the fast boot d from here and flash the super empty img and a few other files and the flashing will then go on automatically you will not have to interact with the phone while the flashing is going on your phone will automatically boot to the fast boot d and the fast boot mode while the flashing is happening so leave it in that state for for the time frame and then we'll be back so guys the flashing is now complete while your phone will st still remain in the fast boot d mode that's not a cause of concern on the cmd script you will get reboot to system so this is a, a slight miss type or spelling mistake if unsure it should say n so but since we are sure that the flashing has been done we could now reboot to system so type in y and your phone will now reboot to the os do note that since our phone has undergone a reset the first boot up will take up some additional time that is completely normal and nothing to worry about from the subsequent time that will not be the case so as you could see our phone is now booting to the os so the steps which are shown here in this video anyways you may hit enter and close the cmd window so the steps which are shown here in this video are applicable across all the custom rom and can be used across all the os version though it's recommended that you flash the latest available nothing os firmware and not an older one moreover please use the entire firmware and not the incremental oda files so with that said as you could see we are now inside the os it will authenticate the sim card and then you could proceed ahead with the rest of the setup as you might be aware of and you may restore your data right now or do so later on let me skip all of this and take you to the os agree to terms and condition as well let's skip this and we are now inside the nothing os and it should now take a few more seconds so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching just let me show you my phone is booting to the os as well so let's skip this choose the nothing os style and finish it up and we are now inside the os and with this we round off the video thanks a lot for watching